You may have recently heard some photographers talking up a somewhat popular photo editing technique known as adding mid-tone contrast to their images. And if you were anything like myself, the first time I heard this, I thought, what the hell is mid-tone contrast? Don't worry, that's the topic of this video. We're going to be covering what is mid-tone contrast, how it works, and how you can use it to better enhance your own photography. Essentially, mid-tone contrast is a way of adding contrast to just the mid-tones of the photo. I'm sure most people watching this have heard of luminosity masking, and essentially this takes a luminosity mask targeting just the mid-tone section of your photograph and adds contrast in to just that selected section. You might be thinking this sounds like a very special use scenario, or you might be thinking, Nicholas, when would I ever want to use mid-tone contrast? But it actually does have quite a few uses. The main one being if you have a photo that already has highlights that are really, really close to being blown out, or darks or blacks that are close to being completely clipped. By targeting just the mid-tones, you can add contrast to the photo without risk of blowing out those highlights or the blacks. So let's jump into this photograph here in Lightroom and you can see up in the upper left hand corner I have these highlights from the sun that are very close to being blown out. And same down here in the bottom, there's a lot of contrast already or a lot of darkness down in this bottom section. And you can again see that represented in the histogram up here. And if I start adding contrast in the traditional way of just increasing the contrast slider, you can see very quickly I start to blow out the highlights. And overall, the photograph takes on kind of a strange and unpleasant look. But if I go over to our masking panel and create a new mask based off of a luminance range and manually adjust to just be selecting the mid-tones of the photograph, usually it works if I do something a little bit like that and I'll feather it out to almost black and almost white, something like this, and start adding contrast in this way, you can see even at 100, I'm not blowing out any of the highlights or crushing any of these blacks. And that is because I've created this mask targeting just the midtones. Obviously 100 is a little bit too much, so let's back that off a little bit, somewhere around there, 50, 60, somewhere in that range and let's toggle this off and then on again and off and then on. So you can see by adding contrast to the midtones rather than adding global contrast, it gives a more subtle, more natural, smoother look to the contrast than adding it globally. But in reality, I actually don't prefer adding contrast or midtone contrast in Lightroom. I prefer doing so in Photoshop. So let's jump into that. Now, unfortunately, Photoshop does not have the same native masking panel that Lightroom does, so you're going to have to create a luminosity mask by hand or create one using a plugin. The plugin I like to use is called the TK plugin. It was created by a guy named Tony Kuiper. There's another great one created by John Weatherby known as the Pro Panel. There's also Lumenzia. There's a whole bunch of them out there. They just save time in Photoshop for creating luminosity masks. So for this image of the Alaskan Tundra, I'm going to show you how to create a mid-tone mask manually. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to our menu and click on Select, and then we're going to go down to Color Range. You can see in this window it says Select and then Sampled Colors. We're going to click on this and then go down to Midtones to select our midtones. Now you can see similar to Lightroom, we have a range slider here where we can select a range of the midtones. In this case, I find it works best if you go almost all the way to the middle. And then above that, we have a fuzziness slider, which is essentially just a feathering slider. I'm gonna go all the way up to 100 here and select OK. And we can see now, indicated by these marching ants, that we have made a selection targeting just those midtones. If I go down here and create a new adjustment layer, in this case, we're gonna do a curves adjustment and we can go ahead and compare that with the full histogram and see that we only have the midtones of the histogram selected. We do not have any of the highlights or the shadows selected in our adjustment layer. And now we can go ahead and start adding contrast to this. We can go ahead and increase those, the higher end of the midtones a little bit, 
and then pull down the lower end. Now I'm going to go a little bit overboard just for demonstration purposes and so you can better see this at home. So then let's go ahead and toggle this off and then on again and off and then on again. I know it's a little bit difficult to tell exactly what I've done, so let's go ahead and turn off the mask. Let's go over to our mask that we created targeting just the midtones and disable that by right clicking and disabling. And now we can see this is a global contrast adjustment or a global curves adjustment. And we can see that the highlights are overblown or very close to being overblown. And the blacks down here are really just way, way too dark. It is a little bit oversaturated. It's just a little bit too much. So by clicking on this and enabling it again, you can see the contrast is done in a more subtle way when targeting the midtones. It's just an overall more visually pleasing way of adding contrast to this photograph to make sure that the highlights and the shadows are preserved while still adding contrast and a little bit of extra punch to your photo. Here's another photo that I wanted to add a little bit of mid-tone contrast to. This time, however, I'm going to create my luminosity masking with a plugin. The one I'm using is the TK panel, and I'm going to create a luminosity mask based off of the zone system from Ansel Adams. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to give me a color picker. I'm just going to hit OK, and then I can kind of cycle through and choose any of these zones. In this case, I think four probably looks pretty good, and I can visually tell because the sky is black, none of those highlights are selected, and nothing down here is fully selected either in the shadows. So then I can go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. And just like before, if we compare the two histograms, I have just selected this kind of lower end of the midtones. Let's go ahead and start adding some contrast here. I'm gonna kind of brighten up this side of things and then just barely darken down this side. And again, you can watch the histogram here change as I am making these adjustments. Something like that. I don't wanna to go too far on the shadows, but I do like the highlights being brightened up or excuse me, those higher end of the midtones being brightened up. And let's look at that before and after and the before and the after. And again, I'm going a little bit overboard just so you can better visualize this at home. But let's right click and disable this layer mask targeting those midtones. And then we can see now it is a huge difference if I do this globally because the highlights are all the way blown out. There's no more detail here and there's just too much darkness in the shadows. So let's go ahead and enable that again. And we can see it is a much more natural, uh, more subtle way of doing things. So hopefully you guys can start to see the power or the usefulness of adding mid-tone contrast to your photographs. I know it sounds scary. A lot of things in the photo editing world do sound scary or a little bit confusing at first, but it's actually quite simple as you can see. And overall, it gives a very visual pleasing contrast to your photographs, or it's a very visually pleasing way to add contrast to your photographs. Honestly, I actually do this to the majority of the photographs that I edit, add contrast to just a specific section of the midtones or just a specific luminance value. It gives you a little bit more of a controlled way to add contrast and add a little bit of extra punch to your photographs. So that's it, that is midtone contrast. Hopefully you guys learned something. Please let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.